The subtle message for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle the Queen included in her speech. The Queen covered a lot of ground during the four and a half minutes she spent addressing the Commonwealth about the ongoing impact of the coronavirus pandemic on Sunday night. In a speech that was broadcast simultaneously on television, radio, and online via the royal family's social media accounts, the Queen shared her empathy for the hardships people are facing as a result of the pandemic thanked healthcare workers for their continued service and hard work, and encouraged citizens of the Commonwealth to continue practicing social distancing and staying home as much as possible. This was all pretty expected. What wasn't so expected, was the personal turn the speech took around two and a half minutes in, when the Queen drew comparisons between the time we're living in now and the circumstances surrounding her first ever royal address in 1940, during World War II. Those self-isolating may at times be hard. Many people of all faiths and of none are discovering that it presents an opportunity to slow down, to pause and reflect in prayer or meditation, she said. It reminds me of the very first broadcast I made, in 1940, helped by my sister. We, as children, spoke from here at Windsor to children who had been evacuated from their homes and sent away for their own safety. Then, in an even more personal moment, the Queen seemed to send a subtle message for her grandson, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan Markle, who are self-isolating in their new home in Los Angeles, nearly 5,500 miles away from the rest of the royal family. Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones, but now as then, we know deep down that it is the right thing to do, she said, striking an emotional chord. While we have faced challenges before, this one is different. This time, we join with all nations across the globe in a common endeavor, using the great advances of science and our instinctive compassion to heal. We will succeed and that success will belong to every one of us. The touching speech left Twitter users in tears, and we have a feeling it had the same effect on the Sussex family, too. Queen's subtle message to Meghan Markle and Harry during historic coronavirus speech. Her Majesty the Queen gave the British public a resounding speech as it grapples with the coronavirus crisis, but some noticed a subtle message delivered to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Queen boosted British morale on Sunday with a resounding speech that may have included heartfelt message to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Her Majesty delivered the historic message through broadcast and radio, hailing the efforts of essential workers in the fight against the coronavirus. She also urged people to stay at home to help stop the spread of COVID-19. But there was also a possible message for Meghan and Harry, who are currently in California with baby Archie and unable to see the Queen due to lockdown restrictions. As noticed by Marie Claire, she mentioned the painful sense of separation from loved ones. She said in the speech, Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones, but now is then. We know deep down that it is the right thing to do. Reports had detailed the Queen's disappointment at not seeing her grandson, who has not been in the UK this year. In full, the Queen's speech read, I am speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. A time of disruption in the life of our country, a disruption that has brought grief to some, financial difficulties to many, and enormous changes to the daily lives of us all. I want to thank everyone on the NHS front line, as well as care workers and those carrying out essential roles, who selflessly continue their day-to-day -day duties outside the home in support of us all. I am sure the nation will join me in assuring you that what you do is appreciated and every hour of your hard work brings us closer to a return to more normal times. I also want to thank those of you who are staying at home thereby helping to protect the vulnerable and sparing many families the pain already felt by those who have lost loved ones. Together we are tackling this disease, and I want to reassure you that if we remain united and resolute, then we will overcome it. I hope in the years to come everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. And those who come after us will say the Britons of this generation were as strong as any. That the attributes of self-discipline, of quiet good-humoured resolve and of fellow feelings still characterise this country. The pride in who we are is not a part of our past, it defines our present and our future.
the moments when the United Kingdom has come together to applaud its care and essential workers will be remembered as an expression of our national spirit, and its symbol will be the rainbows drawn by children.